So, Mikiko is alive. I got that right? Yes. She's alive. No health issues to speak of, either. Awesome! You hear that, Kaito? <laughs> Tell me, then. What's Mikiko been up to for two years? Why hasn't she hit up her family? And where is she right now? If you're assuming she kept her family in the dark, I... I can assure you that's not the case. What do you mean? She developed dissociative amnesia. Uh, in layman's terms, uh, severe memory loss. She... what? It was two years ago that I found Migiko-san at the riverbank. I rushed back here to give her treatment. But when she came to, she couldn't remember anything. All she could tell me was her name. Damn. If it was amnesia, no wonder we never heard from her. Okay. Can you tell us where she is now? Uh, well, uh... I don't quite know where she is. She left some time ago. What? She's gone? You've got some beans to spill, Doc. And I ain't talking at Amame. Warum haben sie sie als tot ausgegeben? Weil sie was Schrecken zu erzählen hat. If Mikiko's really alive, then let's get this out in the open. You faked Mikiko's death. That I did. It, it was to protect her. To protect her? How's that work? It was right after I rescued Mikiko-san from that riverbank. Some unfamiliar people showed up in our area, real unsavory types, and they had a picture of Mikiko-san. They went around asking all the locals, have you seen this woman? I was no exception. But then Mikiko-san, who had seen them from a distance, started trembling. What'd they look like? They were young, in their late twenties to mid-thirties. They had numerous piercings, uh, dye jobs, and flashy clothes. Intimidating would best describe them. In all honesty, they looked like a street gang. People you wouldn't want at your doorstep. Damn it! I bet they tried to kill my mom two years ago! I had similar thoughts. Perhaps Mikiko-san ran afoul of some very bad people in her past. And to make it appear a suicide, she was pushed from the top of a waterfall. But afterward, they couldn't find her body, and her death was never reported. That's why I assumed they came snooping around, to confirm whether they finished the job. So, that's when you went ahead and faked her death? Yes, but only to throw those people off her trail. Got it. So, no, I think rather I than holding her against her will, you were trying to keep her safe. Something doesn't sit right, though. Why didn't you call the cops straight away? Another thing. Mikiko-san was very hesitant about me getting the law involved. And I'm with you, I'm with Actually, to be more precise, it wasn't the police that scared her, but rather the outside world. It was as if she were terrified of someone out there discovering she was alive. How? I thought she lost her memories. Let me give you a little background on that. When a person develops amnesia, they don't lose their memories. Rather, they lose touch with them. This can happen for several reasons, but for dissociative amnesia, it's usually triggered by extreme stress or past wounds. In any case, an amnesiac may avoid a perceived danger without quite understanding why. But the condition doesn't grant a clean slate. Those painful memories will still be alive in their head. And sometimes they'll resurface as instinct, directly influencing their actions. Huh. Well, you're the doctor. Guess I'll take your word for it. I'm still living in the last Ermittlung auf, ohne sich an die Polizei zu wenden. Ja, ist ein bisschen komisch, oder? Ich war ja so. Ich war ja also. Äh, ich war eben eine fremde Frau. Hat Amnesie. Und also, ja, okay. Kannst du gar kein Problem. Kannst bei mir bleiben. Weil das hätte ja auch schief gehen können. 
Wenn es mir einer helfen wollte, ist das ziemlich übertrieben. Äh, ja. Also ist Mikiko jetzt weg? You mentioned Mikiko was gone earlier. Could you tell me how that went down? It was about 10 days ago. I had finished work for the day, so I came back to find Mikiko-san rushing out of the door. It was all very odd. The TV was left on. She uh, didn't seem to have anything on her. And the look on her face was startling. What I think happened is her memory suddenly returned. Just like that? Yes. Though I couldn't tell you what prompted it. She never gave me a reason as to why she went away. All she said was, uh, I have unfinished business to deal with. Unfinished business? What could that be? Hard to say. All I know is that the Mikiko-san I saw right then was completely different from the one I knew. Her face was always so kind and gentle before. Yet there she was, glaring like a woman possessed. And her eyes were filled with hatred. Hatred? You sure that's what you saw? That's precisely what I saw. Something altogether deadly had consumed her. That look she had. It was enough to burn a man alive. Perhaps whatever she went through threatened to destabilize her mind. So she shut herself off from that event for an entire two years. All to preserve herself until she recuperated. That being said, I believe the group who came looking for her in the beginning must have been involved. Back it up a sec. If mom's got her memories back, how come she still hasn't contacted us? Got a point there. My only guess is she's trying to keep a low profile. Perhaps. What if Mikiko-san intended to commit some sort of crime? What gives you that idea? Oh. Well, if that is the case, I figure it'd be more convenient for her to be considered dead than alive. If Mikiko-san is on record as deceased, kann sie kann umbringen. she could do whatever she wanted without ever troubling Junkun or her husband. And since the crime wouldn't be linked to her, her family wouldn't have to live with any stigma. Ein Hass, der ein lebendig hätte verbrennen können. Soll Mikiko sich an ihren angeblichen Mörern rächen? Klingt schwer zu glauben. Alright, this is getting way too crazy. I'm kind of freaking out here. Naja, und als Toter bist du ein Geist. Du bist ja komplett isoliert. Du bist ja, also, wenn du tot bist, bist du ja ein Geist. Wenn du dann trotzdem noch lebst, dann kannst du ja wirklich tun, das, was du willst. Da kannst du ja wieder rechnen wie ein Rächer. Du kannst ja wirklich wie ein Rächer durch die Straßen spazieren und bis jemand rausfindet, dass du, dass du tot, offiziell tot bist, aber eigentlich noch lebst, dauert ein bisschen, also... Und wenn sie, und wenn sie sich dann noch maskiert, ja, würde auch keiner auf die Idee kommen, die in die Richtung zu ermitteln, dass ein Toter äh, Menschen umbringt, weil da, davon gehst du ja nicht aus. Oh oh. Wie haben sie sich, äh, wie haben sie, was, wie haben sie sich als tot ausgegeben? For some doctor out in the sticks. You sure are slick, faking a death good enough to fool the cops. Well, I am the local police's medical examiner. So it was well within my ability to find another body as a substitute for Mikiko-san. We are located by a suicide spot, after all. Morbid as it is. We're not yeah. exactly in short supply of corpses. Uh -oh. Come to think of it, Sadamoto-san said something. About how the body was too decomposed to be identified on scene. Yes, I had to put quite a bit of work in to make the substitute appear authentic. I chose a body with a similar build to Mikiko-san as well. The photograph served as a convincing personal touch. And you did all the DNA testing too? That I did. It was a matter of swapping out specimens here and there. You really pulled out all the stops, huh? That's a lot of risk you're taking there. Maybe what I did was unacceptable. But I assure you, 
This was all for Mikiko-san's safety. Aber es ist ein bisschen hagert. Ey, wer macht denn das? Okay, du findest eine Person, dann bist du Gerichtsmediziner. Dann, dann dass du jetzt, ich meine, dass man das, dass das hinkriegt kriegt hat, okay. Aber wenn er wenigstens ja wieder Geliebte wäre. Das ist weird. Und warum ist hier Tasche und so? Ich meine, sie hat ja ihre Tasche nicht mitgenommen. Sie ist so voller Hass und Zorn, dass sie ihre... Sachen vergessen hat? So komplett? Na ich mein, gut, dass sie nicht ihre Koffer packt, das würde ich noch verstehen, aber... Nicht meine Handtasche mitnehmen? Die da gleich lag und die nicht irgendwo jetzt Keller liegt oder so? Der Typ ist weird. Wer macht sowas? Na gut, letzte Frage. Hatten sie wirklich, hatte, hatte sie wirklich eine Amnesie? So, uh, back to Mikiko. She really forgot everything but her name? As far as I'd observed, yes. She couldn't recall her address, her date of birth, loved ones, nothing. I discovered Mikiko-san with nothing but the clothes on her back. She had no personal effects that could point to her identity. In all likelihood, the Rapids had washed most of her belongings away. Wait, but I thought she had that photo. Uh, yes, I'm getting to that. A half a year or so after I had taken her in. I found a woman's jacket downstream of the waterfall. This photo was in one of the jacket's pockets. Ah, oh, yeah. This is when we took a trip to Kamrocho. But that's with the Millennium Tower in it. So why'd you go asking about Kamaro Theater instead? If Mikiko had amnesia, you wouldn't have known the connection. So how'd you find out? There was a special on TV about the development history of Kamurocho. Part of the program featured the former Kamuro Theater, to which Mikiko responded immediately. Responded? How? Her eyes filled with tears, but they were happy, as if she were lost in memory. <laughs> Although her memories didn't return in that moment, I knew that place must have been important to her. That picture over there was from when I took her to see Kamro Theater in person. Roughly two years had passed since I'd found her, but her memories were still buried away. Fortunately, she'd gotten well enough to venture outside every now and again. I personally found it risky, but alas, Mikiko-san was determined to see Kamro Theater for herself, come hell or high water. Shirakabasa. How was she when you took her? I'd say so. And mind you, the venue had undergone drastic changes since she last saw it. Nevertheless, she still seemed quite nostalgic. I think deep down in her heart, she knew what she was seeing. The peace on her face told me that. That's so. Ja, aber weiter kommen wir hier erstmal nicht. So, let me get this straight. A year and a half ago, a photo of mom and me washed up. Only then did you go around asking about her identity, right? Uh, uh, well, yes, uh, that's right. After that, you swapped or rearranged a corpse or whatever. I get why. You just wanted to keep mom out of trouble. But why didn't you at least reach out to us? You could have gotten contact at any time. Oh, uh, you see, I, uh, um... Kid's got a point. You didn't even tell Mikiko herself who she was, did you? Even though you knew for quite some time. <coughs> hey! Something else you want to tell us? Forgive me! I know making excuses won't help. But you see... From the moment Mikiko-san came into my life. <sighs> Don't tell me. You're in love with her. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, oh, jeez. When I met her, it was love at first sight. Soon enough, I was utterly smitten. Nothing could take my mind off her. 
It wasn't long before I began wishing her happy little life could continue forever. But that's when that picture of her washed up. I thought if Mikiko-san remembered who she was, oh, she'd walk right out of my life without a moment's hesitation. <sighs> That short, blissful time we shared was a blessing I didn't deserve. A man who knew nothing but loneliness was graced by an angel from above. One radiant and pure as snow. <gasps> Forgive me! Forgive me for being a hopeless fool. But I promise you, I kept things decent. I didn't touch a hair on her head. Even a selfish man like me knows where to draw the line. I would never take advantage of her. Not sure I'd buy that. You call hiding her away for two years decent? <laughs> Please trust me. It was only to keep her out of harm's way. Uh, I get that, Shirakaba-san. I don't blame you for wanting to protect someone. Especially when trouble comes knocking. Fact is, you risked your neck to keep Mikiko safe. Not many would. That aside, you didn't tell her who she was when you had the chance. And that's your big mistake. No wonder you two had a happy little life here. You took her other options away. Do you have any idea what kind of hell you put her family through? I know that whatever I do, it'll never be enough to atone. That much is clear. That all you gotta say? Then I suggest you apologize to Mikiko at the very least. Of course, she might knock your ass out when you do. Hey, what the hell? Oh, er wollte sie nur besitzen, nichts weiter. Oh! Greetings! Is uh, Mikiko Sadamoto-san around? Who the hell's asking? Ever heard a Crimson Lotus? We're a friendly group from Shinjuku, just swinging by for a visit. Anyway, I'm Nishio, the group mouthpiece, if you will. Crimson Lotus ain't ringing any bells. You supposed to be some kind of gang? Actually, I believe they're the group who came asking about Mikiko-san two years ago. Really? Weren't you looking for Mikiko Sadamoto too, over in Kamurocho? Funny thing is, we need to find her too, and fast. Harden, but uh, didn't I tell you last time? Mikiko Saramoto-san unfortunately passed away. I just finished telling these people the same. There's nobody left to look for. Nice try, nerd. But you ain't playing us today. Your bluff might have worked last time, but now I've got people telling me she's alive and kicking. And we can't just let a killer run free, can we? A killer? Yeah. Fucking Broad had the nerve to bump off some of our higher-ups. Huh. <laughs> Quit talking out your ass. Dude, I shit you not. You really never heard of the young elite serial killings in Kamurocho? The victims are our founding members. Legendary badasses, all of them. And there's evidence of that chick at the murder scene, so... Yeah. We're trying to pull the plug on this bloodbath. Impossible. Don't tell me. This was Mikiko's unfinished business? To get back at Crimson Lotus. Right. Anyway, we're gonna need to peek inside the house now. Thanks for being chill about it. You won't find Mikiko in here. Take it from us, she's nowhere. <laughs> I call bullshit. What are you gonna do to Mikiko if you find her? Ooh, those plans are a bit above my pay grade, but 
I do know it won't be pretty. If I had to guess, it'd be like... Torturous death? I mean, she freaking went and killed ROGs right when they were peeking. That's fucked up. So, yeah. She's got a ticket for a nice long trip to hell. It's only fair, you know? Oh, yeah? Then I'm sending my foot on a nice long trip up your ass. Ugh, come on! Why'd you have to go for the face? I freaking went to a salon today, too! I got a mixer tomorrow, you know? Chirakaba, sir. Watch Jude for me. Wie sieht's denn ohne Schneid der Long aus, Junge? Du bist so hässlich, aber hilft das nicht mehr. Dammit, why you gotta be so stubborn? Who even are you? Just an old bodyguard of hers. <laughs> so, which of you punks wants it first? Ich glaube alle auf einmal. Ich glaube nicht, dass die durchwechseln werden. Na gut, da habe ich irgendwas zu tun. Ja, roter Lotus oder ja. Dein Gesicht ist schon Lotus, Junge. Das guckst du so doof. Los, Fettsack, was los? Stress. Oh, schön, ne? Also, wo wo, wo, wo ist eben da? Na ja. So, das Geld schon mal halt weg. Alles, ist ja? Alles nehmen? Nee. Ah. Na, Fetti. Oh Gott, das ist schön. Wow. Okay, der war nicht schlecht. Da fahren die, die Trick noch gar nicht. Wissen wir, wie sie das können. Naja, aber er könnte nicht angreifen. Er macht dir heute einer irgendwas oder? Ja, was hast du da mit deiner hässlichen Lila Boxer Shorts? Oh, da ja, läuft ein bisschen Decke. Ja, ein Decke. Wow. Fuck. Naja, dafür, dass so viele von euch sind. Wow, als ob der Fettsack mir jetzt Probleme macht. Also geht über den Döner Bud und halt die Fresse, Alter. Warte mal her. Guck mal, bist du noch du? Hier noch irgendwelche Gegen? Nee, ich habe ja keine Gegen mehr. Oh, warte, da oben vielleicht? Warte, warte, warte. Nö. Ja, bitte. Hallo. Ja, bitte. Aber er jetzt so übertrieben krass ist. Na klar. Der hässliche kann ich kämpfen. Na ja, gut, anderen muss es ja können, hab ich schon recht. Na komm. Oh. Bam. Oh, viel hast du nicht mehr. Ja, man muss ja ein bisschen Fold hier kämpfen. Ah, Mist. Na, okay. Jetzt. Easy.
What? What the hell, man? Was that karate? And not half bad by the looks of it. Yeah, thanks. I've been practicing a while. Hello. Hey! You assholes got started without me! I thought I told you to wait till I got here. Shuchan! This guy's a pain in the ass! <laughs> so let me take over for you. Better clear me a path, boys! Yo! It's on! <laughs> Oh my god. No, I'm fucking ready. Serious? You're just drunk, dude. And you must be Kaito's son, huh? I'm the front man for Crimson Lotus. Ken Mochi is the name. Just so you know, I've never been defeated in the underground fighting circuit. You're looking at a real fucking champ. My boys are ready for you versus me. Maybe we should have sold tickets, yeah? Huh? Let's give them a good show, huh? Na klar, Junge. Das ist der gute Stoff. Ah, auf jeden Fall ein guter. Ach du Schütze, Alter. Jo, 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 Shio. Oh Gott, das wäre nicht viel, wie viel Energie hast du. Du hast bestimmt drei der Palle essen, ne? Ja, wir haben gedacht. What the? Alter, wir haben wir angefangen. Warte mal. Ja, komm. Ja. Bäh. Ich habe ein bisschen Angst vor dir. Okay. Ah! Hilfe! Okay, er trinkt. Äh, oh, jetzt hat er eine Luba-Magie hier. Okay, mach mal. Mach mal. Du musst aber was machen. Oh ja. Mach mal. Tanz dich da mal aus, ja. Ich hab Angst. Oh, weil dann geht er, weil jetzt ist er so ja. Okay. Gib mir noch einen mit. Ah, Hilfe, Hilfe. Ja, wir haben ihn noch nicht einmal getroffen. Äh. Äh, äh. Ah. Ja, schön. Komm schon. Komm. Du hast mich einmal getroffen, du Idiot. Gut, Herr Scholz, das ist ja krasse. War er ja besser. Da hab ich dich ein einziges Mal getroffen. Kriegst du noch mehr, um mich zu bekämpfen? What the hell? Well, 
Aren't you a tough bastard? Die zweite Flasche einfach, Junge, Junge, Junge. John. More booze, dipshits. You hear me? Top shelf shit only. Also gegen Kotzen hilft kein Alkohol. Er hilft eher Alkohol mal nachlassen. Please get a grip. Any more and you'll start barfing blood. Why don't we just call it here? No. More. I need more. Gentlemen, hate to be a buzzkill, but party's over for now. Handshakes all around and to all a good night. I should probably call the cops in case they come knocking again. Hey, Kaito. What they said about Mom being a killer? You think that's true? Hmm. Doesn't matter. Our goal is to find Mikiko, whatever she's caught up in. I mean, I know that. I'll drive. I'd like to get to the bottom of this as well. Oh. You sure? Well, shoot. <laughs> That'll save us big on train fare. 